Hello, this is Sule from Pomona, California, Zone 10A. And I just wanted to give you a little update on what I have been doing today. Uh, today, I didn't go to work, so I took advantage and did some gardening uh, projects I had planned and just haven't gotten to. So this is my cactus. I believe the name is a Pontia Emerald Wave and this cactus we got it and it only had about three petals um, and now it has multiplied now it looks like it's three cactus and they all have uh, many little petals growing on them and the flies for some reason absolutely love the cactus so um, I put it here so hopefully it will grow and give it a nice look to my front yard garden. It looks really healthy and it looks like it's really strong. So it definitely loves the heat because here in Pomona it gets pretty hot and this cactus is doing extremely well. So today I was talking to the nursery where I go to and get some of my plants, mostly flowers. And I was telling them that for some reason all my plants are dying, my flowers especially. And so they did tell me to look in the, right there in the tags, to make sure that the flowers that I was picking would say that they are heat tolerant. This one says it's heat tolerant. This one is called a whirlwind. Um, so hopefully it will do great for me here. I did plant it in between uh, my tomatoes. So hopefully it can get some pollinators coming and pollinating the flowers of my tomatoes. And for this bed, I finally got to put mulch on it um, because it does get very hot here. They did tell me that it would be best to put some mulch so that whatever water I give my plants, it would retain the, that water. I, I am not done actually putting all the mulch. As you can see, I still have that piece right there. Um, missing and then of course my dead plants over there that's a marigold that is trying to hang on but that was a lavender and it just completely died it actually looks like I set it on fire or something but yes I did mulch this bed I'm not done yet uh, but it actually does seem to work they do believe it or not seem a little bit happier than what they did look like a couple of days ago so I'm hoping this mulch helps so that I don't lose any more tomato plants and these are my tomatillos we're Mexican so we love to make salsa especially the green salsa and that's what we use the tomatillos for and today I did have to go to the doctor my husband knows how much I hate going to the doctor I think that the doctors are public enemy number one in my book. <laughs> um, so to compensate me for going to the doctor, my husband bought these for me today. So this is the, a new addition to my little garden. I also wanted to show you that my lantana i believe that's what it's called it's coming back extremely well it has a ton of beautiful bright colors and i have caught one butterfly on them so i'm hoping that they will bring many more butterflies to my little garden and of course especially the bees so they can pollinate i'm not sure um if these attract hummingbirds but I did catch a hummingbird in my garden about two days ago so of course the more the better hummingbirds butterflies um, bees so on this bed is where I had the poblano peppers I did overwinter them, however, they weren't coming back as I wanted them to. 
it seems like they weren't producing anything that was edible all the poblano peppers were very tiny and they were very soft so they were not edible so i added um i think it's called the um, potting mix i added potting mix to this um, planter and i added some flowers so this one we got today at the nursery when my husband went and took me for going to the doctor and this one i believe is called i cannot say the name but anyways it's a heat tolerant flower so i'm hoping it will do extremely well here and then these tulips my brother gave them to me for mother's day so i thought i would plant them and pray to god that uh, they do well they are absolutely beautiful and i'm hoping that they will multiply and then i added some marigolds that i had laying around and then this little plant i'm babysitting for my brother's fiance um, she brought it when it was just a very 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 small plant and then i potted in this extra uh, pot that i had laying around and it has come back extremely well uh, this plant is the one that I showed you on a previous video and I have given it a new home and hopefully it will do well here in this uh, wooden planter. I also got me some serrano peppers from the nursery today hoping those are going to do great for me as well. I just love the color of that flower and then of course I am in love with the tulips so I'm hoping that they will stick and that they will multiply because I heard that they do multiply and then here this is a little surprise for me because Sorry about that because I didn't plant this here. This is a volunteer. It looks like a tomato. I did plant some wild flowers here, but it seems like this one just decided to start growing here. And it seems like there's two more right there. And this is where I have my cabbage, which I need to pull out because they're not growing anymore. Um, they're not doing very well they're not growing and I just think it's time to pull them out I'm not sure but um, they're not growing that's for sure so that one is uh, my little surprise volunteer tomato and I walk here every day I walk by here every day and I did not notice this until today and this is where I keep my wayaba tree which by the way is doing very well and it has a lot of little buds. It looks very healthy and I'm very happy that it's coming back because in the winter, I thought it was dying. And last but not least, I did wanna show you that I also replanted my strawberries these were in the other planter that i just showed you so i added some potting soil to this planter and i moved the strawberries from the other planter to this one and they seem to actually appreciate the change um you know, i did this i believe last saturday and today i noticed that right there sorry um, I noticed that they have flowers already on them. So I think that they really like the change of planter. And I also added mulch to this planter in the hopes that it will keep all the water that I give my strawberries because um, these were producing but very slowly and I was getting very few strawberries. So I'm hopeful that this planter with the new uh, potting mix that I added and then the mulch will help these strawberry plants produce and multiply. Hopefully I can get runners eventually if not this year maybe by next year. All right well that's it from Little Beans Garden. Hope you have a great one. Thank you.